Welcome back. So I've said check out Git Tech, la la la, so many times now. I don't want to do it anymore. So every time I start a video, and I'll just show you guys here, and you can just do the check out if you want to uh, follow along that way. So now we have access inside our Angular app to actually use Firebase, but let's try and actually use it because access is one thing, using it is another. So if you are on the authentication tab right now, let's try and add a new list of something in here, and let's just make a simple list of users in here. I know that we already have users available. But this is this going to be just a static test just to prove we have access and then we'll start using this for real. So what you do is you start off by making a user's collection here or a user's table depending on uh, what you want to, what terminology you want to talk in. So here I'm saying users, that's just the first JSON element. And under user I'm going to add a first user, just giving it some kind of unique ID. It really doesn't matter, Firebase will provide them automatically later but just give them a unique ID and then um, I'll just press the plus again. Now this is my first user and I'm going to give him a username and that's going to be Ole. And I'm going to give him, plus, pressing the plus again, I'm going to give him an email and that'll be Ole at Ole.Ole. Uh, that doesn't exist, that mail, so don't try to contact it. And then I'm going to give him a password. Again, don't worry, this is not something I would present in reality. I'm just kind of getting some data just to show that we have access. That's the only reason. And let's uh, call that um, something here. That's fine. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to use it anyway. So I'm just going to create a few more users. Give me a second. One more thing I just want to show you is if you could just tap here. So I'll write um, Joe at Joe dot Joe. And I do a tap here instead of enter. It'll actually make a new line for me so I don't have to sit and press enter every time you just tap to get to the next uh, place here but again we won't do this manually anyway so it doesn't really matter that's it so now I have three users available and uh, let's try and get those into our angular 2 application somehow before we do it I want to go into authentication because right now we have authentication set up so if you go to authentication and you go into oh sorry go to database and you go into rules like this you'll actually see right now you're not allowed to read unless you are authenticated. So I'll just set read to true instead, because now I should be able to read the data even though I'm not even locked in. So you have to go into and do that. Let me just publish this. There we go. And now it should be published, so I should now be able to read the users from the actual um, Angular application. So if we go in here now, of course, we can't see the users yet. So let's try and grab the users and present them. I think we'll do that in the next lesson just to make this short. But now we are ready to actually use our data and try and pull it down to our system. That's how simple it was to actually create the, the data. I want to add one more thing then just to wrap this up. If you have already a JSON file with a lot of different data in it and entire database maybe in JSON, you can import the entire JSON file right here with a single click. It's pretty damn amazing. And then you'll have an entire database set up for you ready to use. More about that next time, uh, but right now let's just try and see if we can get this data to our Angular app.